Hi, this is Heather with KeepItSimpleSocialMedia.com and I've been teaching quite a few classes in the last couple of weeks where I've been talking a lot about utilizing a free photo editing website called PicMonkey. Now, it is free today and it doesn't mean it's always going to be free, but I wanted to give you a quick example of how it is quite user friendly for you to create a cover image for your business page or to create your own photography for your status updates when you want to add a photo. So I'm going to walk you through. The first thing we need to do is actually go to www.picmonkey.com. And if you can see my URL right up here, it's picmonkey.com. It then gives you a choice of choosing two items. One is edit a photo and the other one is create a collage. Now if you're trying to work on your Facebook cover image, it has an exact pixel size of 850 by 315. That's 850 by 315. And PicMonkey actually offers this to you in a collage. So let's go ahead and click create a collage. Now the next step from here is you actually have to pick a layout because if you notice this picture here, it actually does not look like a cover image. It's not a landscape uh, piece of photography. So let's go over to the left hand side and let's click on this layout here. And when you click on it, PicMonkey now gives you a choice of several layouts. And look at this one here. It says F the cover. That means Facebook cover. Let's click on it. Now the next step is you need to figure out which layout you would like to choose. So if we choose this layout but then decide that there's too many squares, that we don't have enough pictures to fill, look at the X up here. All you have to do is click it and those boxes disappear. Now from here we need to upload our already saved photography. I prefer you use photography that you actually own. Another way to find photography is you can buy it off of several sites on the internet. If you do borrow pictures from Google Images, just remember that you don't own those images and some of them could have watermarks on them. So let's go ahead. Watermarks mean don't use them. They belong to somebody else. Let's go ahead and open up where our pictures are and your computer simply asks you where are they in this case I put them on the desktop so I'm going to click on desktop and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up the file I created and I'm going to click on all these pictures and how I do that is I click on one and then I hold the control key down and I click on all the other ones and actually I can load them all up onto PicMonkey here they are right here now just by clicking on them all and adding open. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull these boxes over. See how this happens? I'm just pulling them over. And if the pictures are too large or too small, they won't look very nice. And I can simply just remove them. And you see that picture didn't work at all. So these are the pictures I'm going to go with. From here, I can click on the palette right here and I can choose what type of background I want. Do I want a dark black background by sliding this line over? Or perhaps I want to pick a nice color to work with and maybe make it a little bit darker. And then all I do is I go ahead and I save the image. And for me, I want to save it exactly where I had it, which is in this file called Pick Monkey, which is held on my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and say save. Now what I want you to do is X out of here. And what you have is the perfect sized cover image for Facebook. But I'm not finished. I'm going to add a few graphics and maybe a border. So I'm going to go and edit the photo. From here I need to find the photo. It's on my desktop. It's in the file called Pick Monkey. And there it is right there. Pick Monkey Collage. I go ahead and I open the file. Now if I'm going too fast for you, please remember that you can watch this video over and over again. Now let's continue. Now we are in a photo editing option where we can do several things. We can add bubbles. Bubbles are where people are talking, comic bubbles. We can put some arrows on it. We can put some love hearts and stars. But in this case, I'm just going to click border. 
And with the border, I have several choices here. Please try them all out so you know what they're for. I'm going to pick this one here. And this creates a nice border around the um, picture frame that I already have. I have to click Apply in order to keep it there. Then I'm going to pick Graphics. Now this P stands for the text. Sorry, I'm going to add some text. I click on the P and all of a sudden it gives me lots of options for text. But the first thing I need to do is I need to add the text box. And notice it falls onto the picture. I just drag it to where I want it. And then I make the text a little longer because I've got lots to say. And here's where I add um, the beauty of our... Today I'm going to say the beauty of our Comox Valley. I'm then going to highlight it. I'm going to center it. And I might even change the color of the graphic and maybe make it solid black like this. Or I could change it to something a little more fancier. I love the Chelsea Market. I go ahead and choose it. And then I click outside of the box. Okay, and I see how has it turned out. I'm going to X the box here. And there you go, the beauty of the Comox Valley. Now these boxes are empty, so I might want to add a few um, fun little things, like maybe some stars, and I might center them and give them some nice color. And then maybe I go down here and I'm going to choose uh, some hearts, and I drag the hearts on, and I give them a nice red color for hearts. And so this is just an example of the things you can do. You can add graphics in here if you wanted. Now, I'm not going to write anything down in this lower left-hand corner because this is actually where your profile business picture is going to sit. And so anything that you have in this corner, remember that it possibly could be covered. And here you go. We have a gorgeous new cover image. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it back into the same photo album I had it saved before, and I'm going to click Save. And it says it is already exists, but that's because this picture was there. So I'm going to replace it with the new one, and I am complete. I'm closing out of PicMonkey. I go back to my business page. I go back down to where my cover image is. And you notice if I scroll around my cover image, up pops Change Cover. I would simply click Change Cover, and then I would upload the new photo, and I would find it on my desktop, of course, in the picture file folder that I created called PicMonkey. I would open it up, I would choose the photo, and I would upload it, and there we go. Facebook uploads it, and then they ask me if I need to drag it to make it perfect, and sure enough, I might want to drag it, and then I go ahead and I save the changes. I hope that this helps you. You can create a really festive cover image such as I have here. And you can also make your own pictures. Remember, your cover image is 850 by 315. And your photos that you add to Facebook all the time, such as this one here, has a pixel size of 401 by 401. And what you will notice in PicMonkey when you edit a photo, there is an option to resize that photo to be the perfect size for Facebook. I hope that these examples help you. This is Heather. Let's keep it simple.